What up YouTube, it's your boy Professor Sticks and I'm back again with another Call of Duty Warzone video to help you rise above the average. Now today we're going to be comparing the M4A1 with the M13, both guns which are really amazing at close to mid-range gunfights. As you can see there, I was able to down somebody with the Dragon's Breath and that's simply because of the fire rate of the M4A1. It's absolutely insane. But before we get into all that, I'm gonna need you guys to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications so you can find your way back for more Call of Duty Warzone content. Now let's get right into it. The M4A1 shoots 800 rounds per minute, which is absolutely insane. It's one of the highest fire rates of the ARs in Warzone. The 42 damage to the head is insane, which means six shots to kill a fully armored enemy. With 28 damage to the chest and other parts, it's gonna take you about nine to 10, maybe 11 shots to fully down an enemy that is fully armored. That is absolutely insane. The situational profile for this gun is, you know, run and gun style. If you're fighting in short to medium range, I wouldn't recommend this gun for a beginner simply because of the recoil. Um, the recoil pattern is a little bit harder to control, but with a little bit of practice, you can definitely get used to this gun. This gun is not going to let you down. Some of the cons on this gun is just the range. When you're looking at those medium to long range gunfights, it's not the best gun for you. That's where you want to go look at the Kilo or possibly even maybe, maybe the M13. But again, this is for close to medium range gunfights. This is the type of gun that I would absolutely recommend. Now with the M13, it can shoot 900 rounds per minute which is absolutely insane. With 36 damage to the head, if you are hitting your headshots, you are going to obliterate a fully armored enemy with seven shots. That's crazy. And with the same damage profile to the rest of the body as the M4A1, it's gonna take you about nine to 11 shots to kill an enemy who is fully armored. The same situation goes with the M13, short to medium range, really good for those who have that run and gun style and the recoil is pretty easy to control on the m13 uh in fact you're just really pulling your control slightly down to the left and so i'm going to share the recoil pattern with you guys and the recoil control with you guys and I'll also share the attachments for the for the, the best attachments for the m13 and the m4a1 let's get right into it all right guys so with the attachments obviously you already know what it is baby uh we want to go right into the gun you want to go to the armory and you want to pick one of your favorite guns um either i like doing you know one of the guns that are a pack so i got the the wages of sin here with the red tracers which are one of my favorite we gonna deselect all and we're just gonna make our own build all right so monolithic suppressor of course you don't want to appear on the enemy map and you also want to have that extra damage range I go with the stock M16 Grenadier, which is gonna give you that damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Then you wanna go with the Commando Foregrip, ammunition, 60 round or 50 round, either or is up to you. You're obviously gonna get a little bit more movement speed with the 50 round, but I usually just go with the 60 round just because sometimes you just need that extra 10. You just need that extra 10. Now, this part is entirely up to you. I like the iron sight on the M4, so I usually go with the TAC laser. The TAC laser is gonna give you the aim down sight speed, aim stability, and aim walking steadiness. But if you don't like the aim down sight, I mean, if you don't like the iron sight, then you can go with an optic. The VLK optic with the T-pose is absolutely cracked. It looks amazing. You're gonna be able to see your enemies very clearly and i think the vlk gives you a little bit of recoil control I, I don't know if it's an illusion or not but i think the vlk scope is very very good so either or is up to you but for me like i said i go with the tack laser over the site because i like the iron sight on the m4 all right so we're going to go over to the m13 build and again it's the same thing you're going to go over to the armory you're going to pick your favorite gun uh, right now i'm liking this one right now with the uh with the yellow um camo on it we're going to deselect everything else we're going to go with the monolithic suppressor we're going to go with the 
uh, Tempest Marksman. Again, damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. You always want to go with the longest barrel. So we're going to go right there. Actually, we got a little, little armory. We can put the Blue Jay on there. All right. Then we're going to go with the Commando Foregrip on the underbarrel. Again, 50 round or 60 round is entirely up to you. And again, with the Optic, it's your choice. If you want to go with the VLK Tipos, which is what I use for the M13, go ahead and do that. Or if you want to go with the TAC laser because you like the iron sight, go ahead and use the TAC laser. Either or is a good build for you. All right, we're going to jump right into the recoil pattern and to the recoil control. Let's go. All right, guys, so as promised, I'm going to go over the recoil pattern for the M4 and the M13. So this is the M4 right now. And as you can see, this recoil pattern is ridiculous. So I'm just going to aim down sight and let it rip. Jeez, that's a recoil pattern if I ever see one. I'm gonna just step over and let's see if it if it's consistent. Same thing, goes straight up to the right and then veers, or goes straight up and then veers off to the right. All right, so I'm gonna grab the M13 and we're gonna do a comparison. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I have the M13. I'm just gonna aim down sight and let it rip just so I can show you guys the recoil pattern. All right, I just move over, do another one so you guys can see the consistency. All right, so, so you can see that most of the ARs have a pretty similar um, recoil pattern. It goes straight up and then it veers off to the right. And so it's pretty similar to the M4, except the M4 has a little bit more verticality before it starts aiming off to the right. And so you should now start to see that most ARs have the same recoil pattern as I just said. And so start practicing that pulling down slightly and then pulling to the left a little bit to counteract the right um, veer off of the recoil pattern. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of back out and show you guys the m4 in comparison to the m13 now i'm going to show i'm going to compare the recoil patterns for the m4 and the m13 and then i'll show you guys how to control the recoil so here we go m4 m4a1 recoil pattern all right so as you can see there's no recoil control done there i'm just going to move over show you guys uh another just for consistency reasons all right All right, so you see it there, it goes straight up. It's got a little bit more verticality than the M13 and then starts to veer right. And then for comparison reasons, I'm gonna show you guys the M13 right next to it. All right, standing right here. We're gonna start from the same spot, straight over and let it rip. All right, move over real quick. Let's do another one just for consistency reasons. So as you can see, M4 goes straight up and then starts to veer off to the right. The M13 goes slightly a bit up and then starts to veer to the right. So you can see the recoil pattern is gonna be a little bit easier to control with the M4 simply because it goes straight up first and then starts to veer to the right. Whereas the M13, it goes straight up to the right right away which I think, again, both of them are gonna be pretty easy to control. You're just gonna have a little bit easier time with the M4 because it's gonna go, it's gonna kick up right away. Whereas the M13, you gotta start, um, start counteracting the recoil pattern with a little bit of recoil control by aiming, by pulling your right joystick slightly to the left to control for this right uh, veer off of the AR. And so realistically, if you wanted to control the M13, you're really aiming down sight and pulling down left on your joystick a little bit. I think that was horrible if we're, if we're being honest, but at least you're you're centering this on an opponent where you're gonna be able to hit them right in the chest. I'm gonna just drop this ammunition box, give it another go here. So M13, if you wanna control the recoil, you're just gonna push, push slightly to the left down. There you have it. It's, it's not as tight. It's not as tight as the Kilo. But again, this gun is for really close range. Because of the fire rate, if you're hitting those headshots, 
uh, you're easily going to be beaming guys. And I think with the M13, you can kind of get away with using the tack laser, which might give you a little bit of better recoil control. Let's go ahead and try that out. Let's see how this looks with the tack laser. I, I kind of like the iron sights on the M13 and the M4, so you might not even need a sight. Let's let's go right next to it and just let's go. It's a little harder to see, that's for sure. Oh, whoa. Oh. That is horrible. That's not making it into the YouTube video. <laughs> Let's see here. That's a little tighter with the uh, with the with the tack laser. And so let's switch over to the M4. All right. So M4, we want to control the recoil pattern. Again, it moves up and then slightly to the right. So we're gonna pull down and then we're gonna start moving slightly to the left on our joystick. And again, it's not as tight. It's, it's, it's very, like the M4 recoil is very hard to control sometimes. Let's try one more time here. Slightly down and then you start counteracting with the left. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's still a little bit bouncy, but again, I'm letting off 60 rounds straight the best thing to do is to let off um a burst at a time so burst it and then burst it again and then burst it again and that way you're going to be able to kind of tighten up that recoil pattern but again it, like these aren't the best and that's why i say for new new players you want to try the kilo because it literally has no recoil and then you want to just go from there and just start practicing throw some ammo down real quick Right, we're going to burst it. And so you can see that's a little bit tighter when you do a burst. Whereas if you try to go the whole clip. Ah, it's about the same tightness. It just takes a little bit of practice. I don't use the M4 a lot. So it just takes a little bit of practice to get the recoil control down. Let me grab the M13. So. I think again, you wanna, you definitely want to just recoil control practice. It's, it, it, you just gotta get, you just gotta practice. It's, it's really what it is. And then obviously, if you could do a burst, it's a lot, it's a lot better. Where's that? Uh, probably can't use a munition box again here. Where was I? You want to practice, you want to definitely burst it. And you can see it's a it's a lot tighter when you do a burst as opposed to just letting the whole clip off on your enemy um, and, and not getting control of that recoil. So there you have it. We've compared the recoil pattern, showed you guys a little bit of the recoil control. All you really want to do is slightly pull down on your right joystick and slightly pull to the left once you feel it start kicking to the right. But if you know that it kicks all the way up for that first 20 to 30 bullets on the M4, then just shoot 20 to 30 bullets and then stop and then recontrol, regain, recenter, and then shoot again. And then all you really have to do is pull down, right? Same thing with the M13. You know it kicks all the way to the right. So slightly pull down to the left. Not too much, of course. Slightly pull down to the left, let off 20 rounds, and then reset, stop shooting, reset, recenter, and then start shooting again. And that way you're gonna be able to control the recoil pattern on the M13 and the M4. Yo, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and considering hitting that notification so you don't miss another Call of Duty Warzone video to help you rise above the average. As always, make sure you drop into for a dance, and frag out. Peace.